What's up y'all? This is Taryn, AKA TV Beauty 93 and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you've been rocking with me since April, how you doing? How y'all been? How y'all mama new? <laughs> I'm sorry, that makes me laugh every time. You guys probably noticed I got some, you know, some glasses here your girl couldn't see, okay? So I needed to get some specs. And actually, I feel really good because these make me feel pretty, you know? But anyways, today I wanted to continue with my Journey Back to Self Love series and talk to you guys about unfinished business. Have you ever had one of those moments where you have just this amazing idea and you just get so excited to get started on that idea, you start doing research looking for software you start thinking about everything you could do with this one idea that you came up with and then the first couple of days you're working hard on that idea I mean you're doing all kinds of things to make sure that idea comes to life and then you don't finish it you get distracted you get tired you probably even gave up why do you think we do that? Why do you think we are so hyped about an idea or something that may have came to our minds while we were in Target and then all of a sudden we fall off? When I tell you I've had several moments like this where an idea would come to my mind and then all of a sudden I am just not feeling it anymore. I would start procrastinating and I would just be unmotivated to finish. And I always wanted to know why? Why am I like this? Why are we like this? And so of course I had to go to a little therapy session and also do some research on my own. And I found out that in some cases, the reason why we start a project and we don't finish it is because part of us doesn't really believe that we will finish the thing that we started. And also we may not feel worthy of the accomplishment or of the appraisal that we may end up getting or the recognition that we may get for finishing the product. In other words, part of us doesn't really feel worthy of success. This right here hit me kind of hard because there were times where I wanted to accomplish something and I didn't because I just didn't feel worthy of the attention that I was going to get from finishing a certain product. I might have an idea for maybe like a TV show or an idea for a new series on my YouTube channel. I could have a million dollar idea, but I would be too afraid to manifest that idea because I didn't feel as though I was worthy enough to receive the accolades for having that idea and finishing that idea. And then I go into this thing called imposter syndrome. In a nutshell, imposter syndrome means that we would prefer to put ourselves at a lower level just to show people that we are not above anyone. We don't wanna look like we're overdoing anything or we don't wanna look like we're overachievers. So we stay at the bottom and we tell ourselves, oh, I'm just a regular person. There's nothing different about me. I'm just a regular person. I don't, I, I just do regular things. I only accomplish the ordinary. When really we were created to be extraordinary. So one of the things that I had to learn was how to fully and thoroughly believe in myself. I had to tell myself that I could accomplish nearly anything. Anything I say that I will put my mind to, I have to tell myself that I have what it takes to accomplish it. And I'm encouraging you to do the same. Believe in yourself. Know that you have everything you need in order to accomplish whatever you want. You don't have to settle for less. You can actually go above and beyond. You don't have to acquire this false sense of humility just to make other people feel good. Actually, you need to go ahead and accomplish the thing that you have put in your mind so that you can tell yourself or you can show yourself that you are much bigger and much greater than you think. There's nothing wrong with that. So I have a homework assignment for you as always. It ain't, it ain't that bad. I promise it's not that bad. I promise. Write down something that you want to accomplish this year and write down some things that are keeping you from accomplishing that thing. And once you've written that down, make sure that you are doing the opposite of what's keeping you from accomplishing that thing. Because remember, the only thing that's stopping you is you. You could be a better version of yourself as long as you do the work. So that is it. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Tell a friend they may be going through a self-love journey just like me. And remember, I'm doing this with you. I'm not here to try to like teach you or make it seem like I'm better than you. I'm going through the situation with you. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. <laughs>